Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called Linear Equations in One Variable. The given question is solve x upon 3 plus 5 upon 2 is equal to minus 3 upon 2. So guys let us see how we can solve the given expression. Question has given us this expression. Question has given us this expression x upon 3 plus 5 upon 2 is equal to minus 3 upon 2. Question has given us this expression and question is asking us to solve the given expression. Question is simply asking us to solve this expression. Now guys, solving this type of linear equations is very simple and very easy. And why we are calling it is a linear equation? Because you could see that the power of here x is 1. The power of x is 1. So for that reason, we are calling these expressions as linear expressions. Now guys, let us move ahead and solve the given expression. The given expression is x upon 3, x upon 3 plus 5 upon 2 is equal to minus 3 upon 2. This is the given expression. Now let us move, let us move this 5 upon 2 to the right side. Let us move this 5 upon 2 to the right side. Or I can write x upon 3 is equal to minus 3 upon 2 minus 5 upon 2. Guys. Why minus? Because here we have plus 5 upon 2. When it moves to the right hand side, it becomes minus 5 upon 2. So, what we got? We got x upon 3 is equal to minus 3 upon 2 minus 5 upon 2. Or I can write, what I can write? Or I can write x upon 3 is equal to, taking 2 as the LCM, taking 2 as the LCM, I can write, I can write minus 3 minus 5 upon 2. Taking 2 as the LCM, we got minus 3 minus 5 upon 2. Or I can write x upon 3 is equal to minus 8 upon 2. This is what we got. What we got? We got x upon 3 is equal to minus, minus 8 upon 2. Hope guys, we are very clear till here. Or I can write, or I can write x upon 3 is equal to, is equal to minus 4. How? This is 2 for the 8. So, we got minus 4 or now you could see that we have x upon 3 here. You could see that we have x upon 3 here. Our now main intention is to eliminate this 3 because we are going to find out only the variable x value. We are going to find out the value for this variable x. So, we need to eliminate this 3. How we can eliminate this 3? Let us see. So, I can write or x upon 3 into 3. Let us multiply 3 here. If I multiply 3 here, I can only eliminate this 3. And if I am multiplying something to the to one side of the equation, I should also multiply the same thing to the other side of the equation. So, what I did? I multiplied 3 to the left side of the equation in order to eliminate this 3. In order to eliminate this 3, I multiplied 3 to the left side of this equation. As I multiplied 3 to the left side of this equation, I am also multiplying 3 to the right side of this equation. If I would have divided 3 to the left side, then I would have also divided 3 to the right side. That means we should do the same setup operation to both the side of the equation. So, here in this step, what we are doing? Just multiplying, just multiplying 3, multiplying 3 to both, to both the sides. Just multiplying 3 to both the sides. That is both the sides means left hand side and right hand side. So, I can write in the next step, what I can write, you could see that these 3 and these 3 it eliminates. I can write now write that x is equal to minus 12. So guys what we got? We got x is equal to minus 12 and this minus 12 is our answer. This minus 12 is our answer. This is what we got. But guys let us check our answer. Let us check our answer. How we will check whether our answer is correct or wrong? Let us check our answer. Now the question has given us what figure expression? The question has given us this expression x upon 3, x upon 3 plus 5 upon 2 is equal to minus 3 upon 2. Let us pick up this left hand side of this equation. Let us pick up this left hand side of the equation and let us see if we are getting the right side of this equation that is minus 3 upon 2 or not. Now, as I told you, we are going to pick up this left side of the equation. Here, what we are doing? Here we are just checking our calculation. Here we are just checking our calculation whether the value that for x that we got is correct or not. Now, 
we have picked up the left side of the equation that is x upon 3 plus 5 upon 2 and we are going to check and see if we are getting the right side of this equation that is minus 3 upon 2 or not or I can write now replacing this value of x that we got here that we got here in this um, particular line that we got here in this particular line we are going to replace the value of x here so I can write instead of x minus 12 so minus 12 upon 3 plus 5 by 2 I can write hope guys you are understanding what I did here in this step just replacing the value of x we got the value of x as minus 12 so I replaced the value of x with minus 12 and the new new equation that we got is now minus 12 upon 3 plus 5 upon 2 or now taking the LCM as 6 now taking the LCM as 6 I can write or let me do in this way so we got the LCM as 6 how 6 3 into 2 is equal to 6 this is our LCM this is our LCM 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so our denominator needs to be 6 now here in this first equation if I want to make the denominator 6 I, I need to multiply 2 in the de denominator I need to multiply 2 in the denominator if I am multiplying 2 in the denominator I should also multiply 2 to the numerator this is the rule if we multiply or divide one thing to the numerator or denominator we should do the same thing to the uh, numerator or denominator so what I did I multiplied 2 to the denominator in order to get 6 so as a reason as a reason I am multiplying 2 to the denominator I am also multiplying 2 to the numerator same thing I am going to do, do here I can write 5 into 3 because in the denominator I need to multiply 3 to get 6 hope guys we are very clear till here or I can write minus 12 into 2 is minus 24 minus 24 upon 6 plus 15 5 3 is a 15 15 upon 6 or I can write taking 6 is taking 6 taking 6 is the LCM now taking 6 is the LCM now taking 6 as the LCM I can write minus 24 plus minus 24 plus 15 divided by 6 or I can write or I can write minus 9 because minus 24 plus 15 is minus 9 divided by 6 or I can write because what we got we got minus 9 upon 6 now this we can eliminate these things with 3 3 3 is a 9 3 2 is a 6 and finally what we got minus 3 by 2 and finally what we got minus 3 by 2 and guys you could see that this minus 3 upon 2 is our right hand side of this equation is our right hand side of the equation if you if you look up you could see that what we considered initially we consider the right hand side of this equation as minus 3 upon 2 this is what being given in the question and after replacing the value of x with minus 12 we got the right hand side of the equation as minus 3 upon 2 so this concludes that our calculation is correct hope guys you understood this this is very simple and very straightforward just we need to solve certain equations guys still if you have any questions or doubts please reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you once i see your comments if you really like my videos please subscribe and let your friends know if you really like my videos i would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know this will motivate me to create similar videos in the future thank you bye